Hey guys, this is Stinger from the Ghost Squash and Airsoft team, and today I'm going to be talking about MOSFETs. MOSFET stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. It is essentially an electronic switch, and in airsoft guns, it's used for a variety of reasons. On the most basic level, a MOSFET has two wires coming out one side, which attach to the battery and are used to supply power to both the MOSFET and the gun. On the other side, there are another two wires which travel to the trigger contacts and these act as signal wires. They are typically smaller than the other wires uh, and they do not carry very much current. Also on that same side is another two pair of wires designed to carry power. They are larger and can carry a higher amperage and these run directly to the motor. So what you get when you take this basic design and apply it to the gearbox is two large wires designed for carrying power which run to the motor and the MOSFET and then a smaller two wires which run from the trigger contacts up to the MOSFET. Now you can see in this instance inside my Wraith I've bundled the two wires together but there are two separate wires there just in one yellow heat shrink tube sleeving. Under normal function the MOSFET keeps a small amount of current going to the signal wires. When you pull the trigger, the circuit is completed because the trigger contacts touch and the trigger wires have a complete circuit. When the MOSFET detects this, it opens up power to the larger circuit with the power wires allowing the motor to engage and the gun to function. The main reason that people use MOSFETs is to allow them to use higher voltage batteries with higher discharge rates. These more powerful batteries can often be damaging to the trigger contacts because of arcing, something which essentially happens where the electricity jumps a small gap between the trigger contacts and causes an arc. This releases a significant amount of energy in the form of heat and light and can be very damaging to the trigger contacts. As you can see when I arc these two wires together from a 9.6 volt NICAD battery, you get quite a nice little pop. It's a nice light show, but you don't want that happening inside of your gun. Uh, things can melt or catch fire, uh, and that would be very bad. So if you want to use a high discharge battery, what you need is a MOSFET. That takes the high current power and directs it only down the power wires and you do not have that arcing effect because the power going to the signal wires is not as high current and not as high discharge rate therefore it does not arc. Some MOSFETs allow you to have additional features such as programming. They can be computerized allowing you to program in three round bursts, trigger delays, pre-cocking, and things like that. Those MOSFETs tend to be more expensive but an example would include the Chimera. The third advantage to using a MOSFET is that you get a better trigger response simply because of the digital aspect of it. When you normally pull the trigger, the response is analogous to the current, and so you get a gradual incline on the amount of power being delivered to the motor. Whereas with a MOSFET, when you pull the trigger, the MOSFET instantly dumps as much power to the motor as it needs down the direct power lines and so you get a very digital or a very steep power curve to the motor. And this results in a better trigger response because the motor is getting more power sooner. Not all MOSFETs have removable plugs like this MOSFET that I'm showing here. Some MOSFETs must be directly wired in, and in that case, you would essentially just have to solder them into your setup. For this Nano ASR from Gate, all I had to do was solder in the signal wires, one on each side of the trigger contacts, and then create a separate loop for the power to the motor. And that made it very easy because then I could just wire all the other plugs to Dean's and have it be easily removable. But with other FETs like the Nuke FET, for example, you would have to directly solder uh, all your wires onto the FET and onto where they are leading to. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was very informative to you. If you have any questions about MOSFETs, please put them down in the comments below. Also, if you have any recommendations for future Airsoft Tech videos, include those as well. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.